Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been forever and a day since I posted a video, but that's okay. All 2020, I'm coming out with a bunch of new different videos. So just stay tuned for that, okay? And yeah, so today's video is going to be on the James Charles palette dupe. Now this is the original. I don't have the huge one, the first one that had came out because I didn't think I was gonna be using this palette very often, but I honestly need to get a big one because I've used this palette a lot, way more than I thought I was going to. But yeah, so this is the original palette right here. But like I said, this video is about the dupe and this is called the Changeable Fantasy Palette. You can get this palette on Amazon for about $15.99. That's how much I paid for my palette. The price varies but i just wanted to get the most expensive one that i could find even though this is um uh, a affordable palette so yeah that is what this looks like it looks just like the james charles one i can do a little comparison for you guys okay you guys so this is what the two palettes look like together literally the same freaking thing like it is a little bit of a difference and i will show you guys um the colors that's kind of different but um yeah so that is what this looks like it looks literally the exact same it's crazy so if you follow me on instagram then you might have seen my post that i had posted on my ig story um a picture of this look and i wanted you guys to detect which one was the james charles palette and which one was the james charles palette dupe Okay, so um, in the video, you guys will find out. I didn't want to reveal it on Instagram because obviously I want you guys to watch the video. And not only that, but I really want you guys to see how these shadows perform. Now, to make it a little bit easier for myself and not get mixed up and have to switch brushes and or wipe them off or anything like that, um, I did do one eye at a time. So the first eye that I did was the dupe and then the second one I did the James Charles palette. Because we all know and we're very familiar with the James Charles palette that it performs really well so we was really putting the um dupe to the test so yeah i hope you all enjoy the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay you guys so we about to get started right, so to create this look i'm going to be going into the dupe palette on my left eye and then i'm going to be going into the james charles palette on my right eye so to make things a little bit easier i am going to do one eye at a time so either way, you guys are going to see how both of the palettes perform. It's just going to be one at a time instead of going back and forth, comparing each shade to each other. You guys are just going to see throughout the video. So I'm going to go into the dupe palette and I'm going to take this shade right here and it's called Code James. So I'm going to be putting that in my transition area. But before we do that, I'm going to go into my Age Rewind Concealer. And this is in the shade Golden and I love this for my um, eyeshadow base. I do use it for my concealer as well for my face, but obviously I use a different shade because this shit light as hell. So we're just gonna blend that out a little bit. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated. And this is great, you guys. Um, I did mention this in my, I wanna say my second to last IG video. Um, that is really important that you use a base that dries down to a matte finish if you're using um a concealer as your base as your eyeshadow base it's that's really 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 important so this concealer is great for that i can't remember the price but it's not too expensive it's from the drugstore so Woohoo! Yes, I'm posted on YouTube. I'm so excited. Nobody probably won't even watch this because it's been like five years since I posted a damn video. But it is what it is because life hits you hard or whatever. Okay, so we are evenly primed. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. Look a little off. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go into the dupe palette. Now, this doesn't have any names, but in the James Charles palette, this shade is called Cold James. So, we're just going to put that in our transition area. And we're just gonna buff that out. So, with any um, 
eyeshadows i like to pack on the product first and then blend out i just feel like that's how you get the most pigment out of a shade so yeah we're just doing that and we're keeping it you know kind of light for right now we're gonna go back in and add more after we apply our crease shade but this is what it's gonna be for right now at least so yeah so the next shade we're gonna go into is single right here like i said before these don't have any names but i'ma just name them the same names that it is in the james charles palette so there's no confusion you guys know what i'm using <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna use this shade right here so i'm just packing this shade on like i said in the crease so this is what i like to do i like to pack one a lot of the pigment on the outer corner and then I take some of that pigment and then I just blend it over you guys can see right there how that work right there or whatever and then you just blend it out now as you can see we're kind of losing a little bit of that orange so that's why I said in the beginning that we're gonna go back in that's basically what blending is all about. I don't care what kind of look you're doing. You're always gonna, you know, lose a little bit of pigment as you're blending. You gotta go back and add more, blend it out, add more. Okay, so after we have the crease shade blended out, I'm gonna go back into Cold James and I'm going to make that transition a little bit more pigmented so you guys can really see the, the gradient. And I'm taking just a little dab of 10% off as well. Now I'm gonna go back into this shade again. just deepen that back up a little bit we don't have to make it too deep with this shade because we're gonna go in with a deeper purple anyway so that seems about right okay so before we move on to the last crease shade I want to just throw something out there for the two um, deep purples that's in the dupe and in the James Charles palette they're not the same at all so I got two swatches right here this is from the James Charles palette and this is from the dupe so they're not the same at all but what I did was I altered my own shade in the dupe palette to where it can be able to match the one in the James Charles palette. Now, I just wanted to throw that out there because I don't want anybody thinking that, oh, this, that's kind of like cheating because it's not really the same shade. Both of the shades are different, but it's not like I'm using a little bit of the James Charles palette to mix it with the dupe so that I can get the shade. You're still, at the end of the day, using the dupe palette to make the shade so it can be um, as similar as possible. So that's basically what I did. So I just wanted to throw that out there so y'all don't think, yeah, you know, I'm being fraud or whatever because that's never giving that. So, yeah. So I'm going to just still take the same brush because why not, you know. And I'm going to go into the shade that I think is called Escape. I'm not sure. I'll list the actual name on the screen if I got the name wrong but yeah i think that's what it's called so we're just going to pack that on so like i said the one in the dupe palette is more of a warm purple while the other one is more of a cool tone purple so to create the more cool tone purple i went in with this shade right here which i believe is called cold and i'm going to put a little bit of that on my brush and then i'm going to go into the shade spooky and take a little bit of that and just put it over that purple and just mix it together and i don't know if you guys can tell but that made a more of a darker cool tone purple which is going to match the purple that's in the james charles palette so i still use this palette to create that color but um, the, as far as that one shade alone it's not the same so all i did was just alter it to make it match so some people would say it's cheating. I really don't give a damn because I still use the palette. Now, if I started going in with 
the um escape shade that's in the James Shaw's palette on this side the yes that's I consider that cheating but I didn't I just you know put my creative cap on and I made my own shade with the dupe palette so it can match so that is really cute and pretty so we want to go back in one more time. I'm going to take like a smaller blending brush and we're going to go back one more time with, what is this called? Cole James. And we're going to take a little bit of 10% off too, right here. But we're going to take those two shades and go in a little bit more with the transition. Okay, you guys, so we're pretty much done with the crease until we actually cut it and then blend it out a little bit more on the outer edges. But for the most part, we're pretty much done. So now I'm going to just go in and cut the crease. Now, you guys, for this particular look, you don't really need to have the cut crease super, super perfect because we are going to be doing a glitter liner for this look. But yes, yeah, so the crease is cut. Okay, so this is where I feel like this look kind of gets a little bit creative and fun because i'm sorry if i like look retarded doing this i'm just trying not to get my like concealer all transfer into my crease but yeah so i use a peach kind of shade for my lid but obviously there's no peach shade in this palette so i made one myself so i also want to show you guys how beneficial it can be having a palette like this in your collection not even per se this particular one but a one that has a lot of matte shades like this basically the color of the rainbow because you get to make so many different shades so with this palette i'm going to be making a peach shade so i'm going to tell you guys what colors i'm going into so the first shade i'm going to lay down is cold james and then i'm going to lay down a little bit of what is this pinkity drinkity then skip and then true I'm going to be mixing all these shades. Is take my Urban Decay brush. This came in the electric palette years and years and years and years ago. Um, so I'm just going to take that and rub it on a napkin just to get any moisture out. I'm sorry I'm looking down. I'm just trying to make sure I don't crease my thing because my concealer is still pretty wet. So if I look up, this shit is a wrap. So I'm just wiping that off. And then I'm just going to pat the concealer down. Cause I don't want it too thick. Cause when the concealer's too thick, the eyeshadows don't lay down smooth and they don't blend. So I'm just continuously patting that and then wiping it off on my napkin. So like I said, the first shade that I'm going to take is Cold James. And I'm gonna just lightly, I'm not taking a lot of shadow cause we're gonna be layering eyeshadows so you don't want to go in too thick and then stuff starts to look crumbly the shade that I want so I'm going to take my really tiny blending brush and I'm going to go into those three shades that I use to create that cool tone purple which is escape mm, cold and spooky okay so that's all nice and blended now I'm going to go in, I already mixed these two glitters together, but um, I'm going to take my bulk glitters. This is in the shade Blushes Pink, and this is a Lilac Dawn.
So yeah, that's what that eye looks like. So now we're going to go in with the James Charles palette and basically just do the same thing. So I don't know if I should just like speed through this part. Cause the main star of the show anyway was the dupe palette. So I don't know. I think I might just speed through the James Charles part. Cause we already know that palette is amazing. We was really putting the, um, the dupe to the test and it delivered. Mm -hmm. May I add? Um, yeah, so we might just do that. Yeah, we might just do that. I'm gonna go on with the same exact shades that I use on the dupe side. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. <music> So I'm about to cut the crease. I just spent 15 minutes looking for another pair of lashes because the pair of lashes that I do have, they're just too thick for this look, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a little, you know, nice little detail going on and I want y'all to be able to see it without me just looking straight down. You know what I'm saying? So, but those are the only pair of lashes that I have right now at this moment. I'm down bad on lashes right now, so. I'm a little blown with that, but it's okay. You guys still get to see the eyeshadow now and get to see how the shadows perform. So that's really all that matters. so this is basically the finished look i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and do my foundation and everything like that and i'll be back so you guys can see everything all put together okay you guys so i finished putting on the rest of my makeup as you can see my eyes look so pretty like i literally cannot tell that i used two different palettes on this look now, obviously this is why I did not want to use these thick lashes because you really can't see the look unless I look down. So I'm gonna just do that for you guys so you can really, really see what it looks like. But yeah, you guys, I am so freaking amazed and impressed. Like I really, really love this palette. I definitely think that it is worth every penny that it is. Like I said, you can purchase this on amazon.com. And I believe this is a prime item, like an Amazon prime item. So you can get it the next day. I think that's what um, I did. This palette is literally amazing. Like I said, I talk a little bit more about it throughout the video, at least how I altered um, a color or two. And, but I explain everything in the video. So yeah, this is basically my final thoughts. I absolutely love the palette. I think it is worth the money. And um, if you don't really want to buy the James Charles palette, the original or the mini, I really feel like this is a good investment. So yeah, I highly recommend the palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.